What's up guys? So I see everybody's been watching the hell out of my freaking welding videos, which is awesome. That makes me so, so happy to see. I love welding, I truly enjoy it. I love teaching people how to weld. So you know what? Today I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna do an intro to MIG welder. MIG welder. Not MIG welding, just MIG welder. Now, what is MIG welding? MIG welding has a couple of names. The first one is kind of funny, it's called G-MAW, G-M-A-W, gas metal arc welding. The second is MIG, which everybody's familiar with. MIG is metal inert gas welding. And basically what that means is you're welding metal with a metal and an inert gas to cover and shield the weld puddle that you're welding. Now what we're going to do in this video today is we're going to go over the bits and pieces that make a MIG welder a MIG welder. I'm going to show you how it feeds wire, I'm going to show you basically how it works, some of the different settings on the device, and then we're going to go from there. In the next video we'll probably teach you guys a little bit more about actually MIG welding, but I want to give you an introduction to the power unit itself, the MIG welder itself, so that you guys have an idea of what it's all about and how the machine itself works before you start trying to actually weld with it. So what we've got here today is we've actually got my Miller 211 with auto set. Now this is a machine that runs on either 110 or 230 volts. This welder, that was funny, did you hear my cell phone? This welder has 120 will run all the way up to 3 16 metal, 230 volts will do quarter inch to 3 8. Now what you're looking at is the front panel of this welder. This particular welder is very, very simple. There's not much to it. It is about 1300 bucks, I think. The last time I checked CyberWeld, it was about $1,300. But this is what you'll be looking at for a very basic MIG welder. You have a wire speed and feed knob. You have a voltage knob. You have a switch that lets you switch between the MIG torch and a spool gun, which we'll get into maybe, maybe not. And really that's it. There's a power button on the back, back there. And then you have a ground clamp and a welding torch. That's it. That is the entire welder. So now as far as how it operates, the welder takes 230 volts of power, brings it into the welder, steps it down. At 120 volts, the output voltage is 20 volts DC. At 230, it's 23 and a half volts DC. Now what that means is it basically takes the input voltage coming off of your, you know, your power over there and brings it in here, changes it into DC and ups the amperage so that you have the ability to weld. Now, the way that a MIG welder works is you have a ground clamp that you set up to your piece of equipment or whatever it is you're welding. In my case, it's a metal welding table and then you have your MIG torch. Now your MIG torch has, I don't know where it went, ran away, but you've got wire comes out the end of there. And when that wire comes out the end, it completes a circuit and in turn ends up looking like so. Now the metal that you're seeing in here is all the filler metal that came out of the welder. Now, how does it feed the wire? Well, on this torch is a little trigger. When you pull the trigger, it activates this mechanism right here. This mechanism right here is the wire feed mechanism. Now, what this does is it's got this little clamp right here that clamps down on top of the wire with this little thimble. When you pull the trigger, and we'll do this in a second, this little thimble spins and feeds the wire down through here, around through this entire cable, and then it runs out of your MIG gun. 
Now it gets the wire from a spool inside, pulls that wire through, pushes it down through. Now that is literally how simple a MIG welder is. Then you have your polarity settings here. So if you're going to be using gas, then your positive wire goes down into your torch, which goes out the front here. You also have this little clear tube right there. That little clear tube is what carries the gas mixture down into the welder and then ultimately down that tube and again out through this hose and down to your torch. Now when you're welding without gas, you need to change this polarity and I'll show you where it says that in a second. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> now with most newer welders, there's going to be something very cool. There is an entire cheat sheet on this welder. It has every single setting you want to know. Auto set, which on this particular welder allows you to set it to auto, pick the thickness of material that you're welding, and it will automatically adjust the wire speed for you. You have manual setup, which you can dial in everything exactly how you like it. It has the polarity changing and why and how and when to do it. It also has all your suggested wire types, your suggested gases. I'm using a 75-25 mix right now, 75% argon, 25% carbon dioxide. It tells you what wire size to use for what thickness of metal at what particular voltage you're running this machine at. It has everything you need to know to get welding quick. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this welder on and I'll show you guys actually how the mechanism works that feeds the wire. And you can hear it's obviously got a pretty loud cooling fan in it that keeps things cool as you're welding. But all right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull that little blue trigger right there and you'll see this mechanism move. Now, look at all the wire that just came out. That's just a quick way to get rid of extra wire. All right, so that's basically how the mechanism works. It is literally nothing more. It is literally nothing more than a power supply that feeds wire to complete a circuit on a piece of metal that you're sticking together. Hence the gas metal arc welding or metal inert gas welding because the gas that you're using is inert. But a MIG welder is very simple. There are some models out there now that have digital readouts and multiple knobs and all kinds of crazy stuff that you can get into. But if you guys are just starting out in welding, you don't need all that crazy stuff. You literally just need a very simple machine like this. And this machine is actually extremely simple, but also it's like kind of on the pricey side for a MIG. That $1,300 is kind of pricey. Um, you can find MIG welders by Lincoln, by Miller, by Everlast for sub $1,000. And if you're just learning and you're trying it out for the first time, you can do flux core wire so you don't have to get a gas bottle, you don't have to get any of that stuff. You run the flux core wire, set up the machine properly, and you can get halfway decent welds with a flux core. They're not gonna look as good as a gas fed welder, but you'll get the gist of it. You'll be able to, to stick some pieces together and start learning. So I hope you guys are gonna find this video informative. I just wanted to quickly go over the actual machine itself and give you an idea of what it's made of, how it works, so that you're maybe not so uh, scared to kind of delve into it, and, you know, pick up a used welder and play around with it. It's a very, very easy machine to utilize. It's a very easy machine to set up, very easy to get welding right off the rip, and uh, you know, you guys can do some cool stuff with it. So if you like this video and you guys wanna see more of a series like this, what we'll do is we'll start off with each machine We'll give you an intro to the machine and then we'll do an intro to actually utilizing the machine and how to weld with it and the different types of stuff. But I want to break them up into pieces. I don't want to give you an intro to the machine and then go straight into welding and then do the video be four or five hours long. So I'd like to do kind of a series on both MIG welding, TIG welding, TIG brazing, 
we'll go through and we'll do a whole bunch of stuff. So if you guys are interested, please leave me a comment down below in the comments section. Let me know what you want to see more of. Are you guys more interested in the TIG welding side of things? Are you more interested in MIG welding? Are you guys newbies? Are you guys seasoned welders? Do you guys have any tips for me? Um, I know there's some more experienced welders out there than me. There's always going to be, and I'm always up for learning something new. So hit me up in the comments. Hit the like button. Smash the subscribe button. I really appreciate every single one of you guys, and I hope to be able to make some really good content for you. Um, so let me know. And you know what? Have a great day, guys. I'll leave you with this.